Good morning and welcome to Sarah's Top Devotional. Today I pray for you from Ephesians 3.16 that God will strengthen you with the power of His might by His Spirit and your inner man in Jesus' name. The Word of God for you today. God's word for you today is from the book 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 that says, Encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. The two key words here are encourage and build up or to inspire. Providing encouragement and inspiration is doubly important because most people you meet are hurting in some way. Even if they don't show it on the outside, most people are struggling on the inside. Encouraging your neighbors means uplifting, supporting, cheering, and reassuring them. But even more important, it means giving them hope because the discouragement they feel robs them of hope. Discouragement and hopelessness go hand in hand. When trying to give discouraged neighbors hope, remember that a real and lasting sense of hope can be found only in Jesus Christ. He is not just a source of hope, he is the source of hope. This means the best way to encourage people who are struggling is to point them to our Lord. Inspiring your neighbors means showing them an example that encourages them to do better and be better. By do better I mean trying to do one's best in every situation. By be better I mean trying to walk more closely with God in every situation. People are inspired by an example they admire enough to emulate. This is why it is so important to consistently show your neighbors a Christ-like example in which you are always trying to do better and be better. No example is as worthy of emulating as one that reflects the image of Christ. Remind neighbors who are hurting that no matter how bad things seem in their lives at the moment, God loves them and will never leave them. Remind them that if they will place their fears, doubts, grief, disappointment, and insecurities at the feet of Jesus Christ in prayer, He will walk with them through their ordeal. Finally, remind neighbors who are hurting that no matter how much they suffer in the short run, God will restore them in the long run if they remain faithful. Let's pray. Faithful Father, thank you for noticing and keeping record of the things I have done that are good and pleasing to you. Please help me to keep doing the things that please you, only better that you may be pleased and glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again for joining us. Don't forget to encourage or be a source of inspiration to somebody today. See you tomorrow. Bye.